What is going on guys? My name is Art27 and welcome back to the park. Alright, and we're back. How do I run? Can we run? There we go. Callum. Oh tell what the me shit? Where you are. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. We we're waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me, and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carrying and picking away at the ice. And at first we thought he was marking, making some animal, like a tiger or lion. But as more and more ice fell away... When you first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of that block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster like you were praying that thing and the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments, it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground, and he was stab, stab, stabbing him with the ice pick, and blood was spraying, and people were screaming and freaking out at the kids, and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was the eyeball one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. Cool story, bro. Tell it again. Alright, so obviously we're gonna get up get on this some bitch. I see the entrance over at the other side. Or should we go that way? No, that's blocked off. Hello, anybody here? Sally the chipmunk! I mean you're not you're a I don't know what the fuck. We can go that way. Oh, what's this? Hello, Roy. Oh, is that a tablet? I this. Oh, man. What? What is this doing here? Stay where you are. What is this? Right off the tail. Yeah, we're gonna. Moving. Oh, so we we need to find a way to stop it. Okay. Decrease speed. Decrease speed again. Should come to a complete stop. Are we good? This we isn't good? a game, Callum. Yeah, this isn't a game, Callum. Fucking bitch. Can I get on now? Oh, decrease speed. Okay, okay. Yes, I can ride it! Oh, I'm having so much fun. I'm having fun without K. Oh, what the shit? It's speeding up. Whoa! Somebody's at the controls! Is that the chipmunk? Hold on, we're gonna come back around. There's somebody at the controls. I think. I'm not quite sure. Oh my god, we're gonna go flying. <laughs> Stop this ride! Oh! Whoa, what the fuck was that? Oh shit! <laughs> Creepy ass motherfucker. Please let me off, I'm getting sick. Oh god. I don't like this anymore, I'm not having fun. Ooh, I wanna ride the Ferris wheel. Ooh, that looks dangerous and fun. Right, let me off. Oh! I see you. Are you slut? Can't have from me. Hello? Callum, where are you? Okay, bye. I'm just gonna continue this way. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our <laughs> world from expectations and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, 
that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Can I go in here? Callum, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Read page. I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of se oh, 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 what the shit? End of season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around, and so most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping, and most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve. See, even I'm starting to call him Chad, and I went to school with the guy. It's that goddamn suit. In the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve, the local lush, as Chad the chipmunk. Child friendly mascot at Atlantic Island Park, lock up your daughters and all of that. But the more he wears that suit, the wilder Steve is getting. At first, it was little things like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. But then I saw him at Susie's Diner still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained directly to park management about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with the. Uh, with her winter? What, with the winter owner? With Air, Art with Art Winter one day? But nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by and apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him pulling up in the G whatever outside the cycle station. Because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. Those shapes he makes in the ice though, they give me the creeps Steve came by the booth today, lucky me, and he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up, eye fucking me. <laughs> Whatever he was doing, I asked him what he wanted and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my superior and when he came by, Chad, Steve wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I fucking quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Lara has. Oh, fuck me! Oh, you fucking slut. Oh, what the shit? Hello? I see you in there. Don't think I don't see you, you creepy fuck. Oh, it's a teddy bear! Is, is, is that Mr. Bears? I see Mr. Bears! Is that Mr. Bears? I'm coming, Bears. Hello? Hello? Alright, you know, I'm leaving. Fuck that. That was scary. This actually scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, what is this? This should not be an amusement park. That looks creepy as fuck. Three eyes? Are you okay? I'm leaving. Where did you go? Where'd you go, Caleb? Mommy needs you. What's that noise? Mommy needs you. Come. Mommy's looking for you. Where did you go? Oh, do I get around bumper cars now? This is an '80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Let me in. Let me on it. I wanna. I wanna ride. Doesn't look like I can ride any of these. Hello. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Yeah, Callum. Oh, what's that? I can ride this one, I think. Yeah. Examine accident. Oh, it's an accident report. Uh, witnesses Lawrence Creed, Michael Edgeworth. Read description of the accident or incident. All right. During the transport of the bumper cars into the arena, uh, when yeah, into the arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a c cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Uh, Francis was killed. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And uh, did the injured employee see doctor? Yes. If yes, did you find any employer's portion of work? Yes. Supervisor's comments. Dexter, the truck driver, claim, claims to have been someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. What could have been done to prevent this accident or incident? Double checking of the straps after transit should be mandatory. Okay, yeah. Oh, Merry Christmas. Oh! Don't do that to me, game. Holy shit. What's going on? 
Oh, we're gonna get run over. Oh, we're gonna get run over. And eh, we're dead. Oh shit. What the hell? How does bumper car move that fast? Obviously, we have to go fucking near it. Callum? Callum? Callum, this isn't funny anymore. You almost got me killed, you crazy bastard. Hello? Where it looks like we're gonna have to go up there. Hello? What happened? Did you break your transmission? No, I'm just kidding. Let's go. Oh, it's my shadow. Hello. Okay. Where are you, Callum? Callum, where are you? I need you. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Yeah. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back. The sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. Continually delayed by the incompetence of the builders, the problem is that they are locals and so they believe a lot of uh, the rumors about what old man Henderson used to be, well, I mean used to do here. They grew up on these tales. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. Of course, that is why I chose this site over all the other potentials. Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energies and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here, it makes my skin crawl. I called in a few favors back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that Old Man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find the piece of the plants that I am missing. Alright, 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 alright. Well, time to write this some dish. Stay where you are! Uh, yeah, I, I lost the crap out of Caleb. He's nowhere to be seen. I'm basically here just to ride the rides now. Ooh, shortcut. Alright, decrease speed. Yep. Let's stop this son of a bitch. The fuck was that noise? Keep hearing it on the right side. My ear. The hell. Alright, let's ride. Alright, let's ride this ferry. Ferris wheel. I know some shit's gonna go down. I already know it. I ain't scared. I ain't no bitch. Are the bolts gonna? Oh, I think one of the bolts are gonna come loose from that paper we just read over here. Shit. Well, we're gonna die. Oh, I thought, I thought those were my toes. That's my fingers. We're getting People pretty high come up. Into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Calm was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. This is, this is a 
pretty gruesome, not gruesome, gruesome game. Can we stop now? I'm surprised nothing bad happened so far on the Ferris wheel. Oh, you sneaky motherfucker. I see you. Who are you? Who sent you? <laughs> Who do you work for? Creepy son of a bitch. What? 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 Where are you, Calum? What the shit? Yeah, I'm leaving. Fuck that. Stay where you are. Let me stay. Where is he? He's nowhere mommy to be coming, seen. Calum. Yes, mommy's coming. I'm coming to save you. I'm coming to save. Oh, here's the other. That's a. Oh, oh. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm alive. Thanks for the ticket, little girl. Bye. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Did that just fall? I don't know, I'm going crazy. Please, Callum, tell me where you are. Where are you, son? I need to. We need to get the fuck out of this place. There's some crazy lunatic in this weird-ass costume. He's trying to kill us. All right, I'm calming down. I'm calming down. There's that fucking cart. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give yeah, up fuck nine those months people. of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping up piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Oh god, don't do that. Oh, this is. Oh, I'm crazy. This girl's crazy. Don't be what afraid. What the shit? Oh, oh, now you sound concerned about him, you crazy. Fuck. Whoa, whoa. I always okay. wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. Ever want to ride me? I mean, what? Who said that? Watch your mouth, Caleb. Where um, are you? Why did you go? Ah, uh, roller coaster. Yes. All right. What jumps? Are you there? Hey, how you do? Hey, can I at least you get your name? Me. Like shit. Yeah, what do you want? Oh what shit. Do you mean? He's talking to me. What have you done to him? I? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hard. Tell me where my son is. Oh shit! Now, has both of you? No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just, just leave me alone. Fool, you always were. Oh god! He's trying to kill me. <laughs> oh shit! I just busted through two double doors. Wait, what did I say? I didn't get to read it. Shit. Fucking gravity. Yeah, fuck gravity. Oh, shit. Not safe. I know it's not safe, okay? Oh, God. Oh, I just ran over Callum. What the shit? Oh, I'm so sorry. Mommy, sorry. I apologize. Forgive me. The first step is forgiveness. I'm sorry, Caleb. I love you. Is it behind me? The park. I, I think the park's alive, guys. 
guy. Okay, I'm gonna leave the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Drop a comment down below. Down below, shit, I can't even talk. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos.